How to Become a Registered Veterinary Technician. Are you interested in becoming an RVT, Registered Veterinary Technician? Great, let me help you. I'm gonna break it down into a few simple steps. Please note, the process to become an RVT varies from state to state. The following is specific to those who plan to practice in the state of California. Step one, education. You must graduate from high school or receive a GED. Then, apply to a veterinary technology program. Some things to keep in mind are the school's accreditation, instructors, and facilities. How much hands-on experience with live animals will you receive? <coughs> Step two, graduate. Once the many hours of study have been completed and proficiency in animal handling and technical skills demonstrated, you are ready to graduate. But wait, you're not an RVT yet. You have to take the VTNE, the Veterinary Technician National Examination, and apply for a state license. Step three, application. In this step, you must apply for the VTNE. You can apply online at aavsb.org slash VTNE. The application fee is $300. With your application, you'll also need to include official transcripts from your school. The official transcript must show that you have graduated from an accredited veterinary technology program that is accredited through an American or Canadian Veterinary Medical Association and must be sent to the AAVSB, the American Association of Veterinary State Boards, from your school by the application deadline. Once your application has been approved by AAVSB, you will receive an ATT, an authorization to test letter. Step four, scheduling. Once you have been authorized to test, you must schedule your exam at a Prometric test center. You'll be provided three hours to take the exam, but make sure to allow an extra hour or two for the tutorial, survey, and other administrative requirements. Step five, licensure. You will receive your scores within four weeks, and upon passing the VTNE exam, you can apply for your state license. For example, in California, you would apply to the Veterinary Medical Board. Each state has their own requirements, which can be found on their websites. With that, I wish you luck on your journey to becoming a registered veterinary technician. From all of us here at Stanbridge College, we wish you the very best in your educational endeavors.